a lot of people they talk about skills shortage in cyber like especially now with the more hacks going on uh, but yeah we still always see students complain about there's a lack of jobs like those entry-level jobs um, I guess um, so would you say the jobs are still out there but those students are not like the ones that are applying themselves or would you say it's just less entry-level jobs there's just less entry-level jobs um you know it's a highly competitive space to get a first job like it's extremely difficult you know i know people that have been studying did a bachelor's degree did two years of certs and still couldn't get a degree i uh, still couldn't get a job you know what i mean and that's more for like when they need to improve on the networking side you know they're just not meeting people but um i would say it's really difficult um i would say it's what well, i i call it the experience shortage not the skill shortage because there's plenty of people that are capable there's just not enough roles because a lot of roles will ask for you know one to two years experience even for entry-level roles and things like that which i think is stupid personally um but yeah i i think it is it is a real problem the, the thing is is that if you think about it from a business's perspective if they didn't previously think about cybersecurity and they go okay we need to do cybersecurity now we need to think about this they want to be able to take someone on that's done it before to help them they're not saying okay let's hire someone who doesn't know what they're doing because we can't risk that you know what i mean um and typically as well cybersecurity is seen as a cost you know businesses exist to make money or, you know to produce services and goods and so any capital that they have they try and put that back into the process which is, allows them to pr produce more services or goods and, and create more money whereas cybersecurity is a cost it's an ongoing cost both in terms of people but you know licenses and things like that and so spinning up a new role um isn't just a, an easy exercise yeah yeah um the entry level like competition for entry level roles uh, i do feel it's getting harder and harder like i don't know like i see people coming in at the associate level now and they've got the oscp and all that yeah. and that was sort of the level i was at when i got a consultant role so honestly i i'm not sure if like if um, I applied now and tried to get in. I'm not sure if I would be in the same position to get that consultant level I straight away or that, that competition. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's required. Like, it, some people are just, like, bloody good. You know what I mean? Like, really good just by luck. I don't think that it's 100% a requirement that you have to have an OSCP to get a pen testing job. At the end of the day, it's an, a really easy way for someone to look at a resume and go, I know that this person has at least this minimum level of capability or they can do this amount of things right um you know a lot of the pro a, lo a lot of your certs and getting a degree it's just to get from the interview uh, from the resume review process to the interview you know what i mean if you you might not have a great resume or have a lot of experience but if you can interview really well then that is what will help you get a role yeah yeah so what advice would you have uh, would you give to people who maybe can't get that entry level role in cyber um do you think cyber is even an entry level job because um like m perhaps you would recommend they get into it or something like that like what's your recommendation it really depends um like if you've been looking for a job for two years and you can't get a role then yeah maybe you need to do something in the background like it but i wouldn't say you have to do it to get into security i mean traditionally you couldn't study a cyber security degree you know five to ten years ago Cybersecurity was a niche IT domain. People would work in an IT role for five or ten years, and then they would pivot into cybersecurity. And so, all the people that are, all the really senior people in our organisation come from that background. Um, so, I was very fortunate that I was able to get into cybersecurity directly after I graduated. But that's not the case for most people. Um, so, if you've been look, if, so, if someone's been looking for a role and they they can't get a role, I honestly think that they can. They need to just really um, be reflective on themselves you know honestly journal and really reflect you know what is limiting me from a role if you get rejected from a re interview process seek feedback um, you know follow up by email to each panelist person after the interview directly and ask for feedback even before you've had an outcome um, things like that you know improve yourself going forward is, is really important because um, you, again you may have really good technical skills but your soft skills may not be sufficient 